Hey, I'm Gorilla Family, I'm Mr. B, and this little star is Lenny G. Say hello, Lenny. Get stuff, Mr. B. Sorry, what? I'm not saying hello. What do you mean? Why? What's the name? I am really not happy with you. Why are you not happy because with you? Because you won't play the clip. I really want you to play the clip. I'm not. What? Are we going on about the PewDiePie clip? <laughs> yeah, the PewDiePie clip. <laughs> right. Look, you know I don't do... Sorry about this. You know I don't do clickbait. Well, well everybody do else does. YouTube's full of clickbait bollocks. Right, fine. You want me to show it here? <laughs> yeah, I do. Fine, fine, fine. You get your way. Just to fill you in on this, um, and this is a review for the bar too, and I'm sorry about this, but during the footage of trying to get the footage, I actually managed to kill PewDiePie using the bar too, which is uh, an LMG for sport glass. I don't like doing stuff like this because it's clickbait, but the star of the show here wants me to show the clips, so he's going to get his Yay! wish. Yay! <laughs> Blast. Roll the footage. A lie. Obviously, that can't be the real PewDiePie, but it was. it's not him. It bloody was, I tell you. It's not. Was. It's was. It was. So obviously, that's not the real PewDiePie. And the fact that I killed someone called PewDiePie is awesome, but that's not what we're here for. We're here to look at the barrier too. Is it worth ordering Battlefield 5 for? Without any further ado and all the bullshit to one side, let's roll. And we're back. Now, I've put Lenny to bed because he's being a little shy. So, from, from the, for this rest of this video, it's just you and me. And if you hear background noise, it's because I've got my window open. It is literally hotter than a night of passion with two clones of Jessica Grealba. And if you don't think that's hot, turn this video off now. You're too young. So, as always, we start with a quick look at the gun. So, the bar... What's the actual full name? The Bar M1918A2, or the Bar A2 as we're just going to call it, has two choices of sights. You've got your standard iron sights and you've got the AA sights. Now, unlike the Feddy D, or the Fedorov Dikitar, or whatever it's called, the AA sights actually suit this weapon. And for the playstyle that you use it for, in my opinion, the AA sights are better suited for it. But there are going to be those who prefer the iron sights. Um, it, I don't really like the iron sights. I don't think they, they work very well, but you think it gets in the way more than anything else. Um, you've got different magnifications, all the way up to two times magnification, but that's negligent. And a difference in recoil. Screw it, I've just gone to shut the windows. You know, it's been peaceful all day. And as soon as I start recording, is that bloody brand's hatch out there. So anyway, back to the recoil. Um, so the recoil itself, just like with the Feddy D, tells a little story on how you should use this weapon. You've got the... Um, it literally does have a straight-up recoil, no matter what you do. Whether you're stood up, ADSing, or prone, it's all a straight-up recoil. Unless... Now this is this is where it tells its own little story. If you tap fire the weapon, it turns it into a laser. And for these sort of weapons, this is exactly how you should be using it. Especially when it has a serious problem, which a few of the guns share. So it's not it's not like it's a, a world-ending problem. It's just a big enough problem for it to be noticeable, which is the lack of ammo. And you get 20 shots per clip. And more often than not, that causes more problems than it doesn't. Than it doesn't. It, with the bar A2, your side weapon is your best friend. <laughs> because trust me, when you get into a fight with two or more um, foes, you're going to feel it. I've started this gameplay footage with the iron sights, um, but it's only one clip because I really hated the iron sights. The rest of the um, footage is with the AA sights. Now, there isn't a rate lot to say about this weapon, to be fair. It, it is what it is. It's a, 
a no frills weapon the the does have more negatives than it does have positives especially when you're comparing it against other guns in its own class or even up against the feddy d in the medic class it just doesn't stand well um in fact there is a much better weapon with the same sort of type of gun than this should i say i'm getting the words mixed up here um one of the guys in reddit actually before i even started all this actually pointed out a very good point which was to keep it at 600 rounds per minute that person goes by the name of yash who basically said keep it at 600 rounds per minute because you don't need the 360 now that is the gun has two fire rates 360 rounds per minute and 600 rounds per minute and i have to agree with him the 360 round per minute is a waste of bloody time but it is also the cause of my biggest annoyance with this weapon you see because here the two fire rates have the exact same recoil path the um exact same handling the only difference is, is the rate that it throws out bullets so at 600 dps it's a much quicker time to kill than it is on the um, the 360 however every time you spawn into a match you've got to flick it so if you go into a match you flick it 600 uh, rounds per minute and you die if you it, as soon as you spawn back in it switches back to 360 or 360 whatever it is and you go into a fight and oh shit you're on the lower um rpm and you're not gonna be anywhere near as useful as it would be on the 600 rounds per minute so it, it's it's a big annoyance for that is for me but on the other side of the coin with 600 rounds per minute you fire through your 20 bullets a lot quicker and the problem with that is if you don't land your shots properly so if you don't land every one of them then you're gonna you, you'll end up killing your first person but if he's got his squad near him you're gonna have to reload now it's not a quick reload time at all so the only thing you can really do is swap to your side weapon and um, your m1911 or whatever it is whatever you're rolling with these do whatever the cool kids roll with man and take the second person out with that but then that screws you for the third so you're not going to be mowing, especially in, in CQC battles, you're not going to be mowing um, full squads down with this gun. Not unless you really look. I mean, I got three or four kills in a match in one goal, should I say. And I, I was very lucky, very lucky to get it, especially with the reload. So the reload speed along with the dual fire rate, just, uh, sorry, along with the low amount of ammo per clip, just kills this weapon for me, kills it dead. Um, it, I just think that is much better for what you can do and that was where I was going to write this weapon off completely as something like the Mossy Nagant who, or Nagant or whatever you want to call it Mousy Nagant as I've been told to pronounce it uh, as just <sighs> fluff to make you pre-order Battlefield 5 uh, again it suffers from not making it special enough but then something happened and Obviously, I started this video with the recoil pattern, but that was actually the last piece of footage I recorded um, because it didn't twig until halfway through. That if you actually tap fire this weapon in any stance, whether you stood up, hit firing, ADS, or prone, it's like a fecking laser beam, and all of a sudden you can spread out your 20 shots at 600 um, RPM. To do a lot more damage or as they said in the fury or the film the fury harvest more meat per bullet and that all of a sudden improves your chances at getting multi kills and it turns this weapon into a, a, a more formidable weapon it doesn't change the fact that there's better than it but if you do like the AA science and like how it handles if you tap fire it it becomes more competitive to the other ones what other gun am i talking about however well i'm referring to the burton lmr trench now this weapon has the exact same um recoil pattern and when you tap fire it does the exact same thing and yes it has 20 bullets as well however it has 800 rpm so it's even quicker three bullets but it's even more it's even quicker ttk it acts more like um a submachine gun but with longer range and with the added advantage that you can switch to fire bullets and tech out planes as well 
So when you add all that together, the Burton is a much better gun. Yes, you have to unlock it, but you unlock it by doing 50 defense kills. I mean, I could do that in my sleep. It's not that hard. So anyone can unlock it. And if you manage to get the optical one, which I haven't unlocked yet, but I, I'm assuming that has even greater range on it. So if I was to choose between the Bar A2 and the Burton being very similar handling patterns and very similar... Um, TDK should I say except the Burton slightly faster I go with the Burton every time so again I've got to say for a pre-order bonus DICE has failed on this one dramatically failed if I was off I mean there's two schools of thought here and it, at first when I thought about it especially when I was reviewing the mouse in Nagant um, I thought, well, if you're going to do a pre-order bonus, if I wanted some, if I wanted to reward someone for ordering Battlefield 5 by giving them guns for the game they've got, I'd make them special as hell. I'd, I'd almost make them game-breaking. You know, just like, go out there and go murder with these things. If anybody else wants them, they'll have to order BF5. But then I saw a comment, um, which was along the lines of screwy a anti-consumer bloody bloody blah can't believe they're doing it. i can't believe i don't have access to these weapons because i have blah 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 whingy little bastards but and i thought to myself well if they did make them op and they did make them game break and they did make them special there'd be outrage because we all know everybody loves a fight at the moment. Everybody loves an argument. Hey, if there's an argument, I'm the first on the line out. Get behind this fat bastard because I tell you what, I'll be the first to point the finger. Look at you, Activision, you set of scumbag bastards. But the thing is, I just wish, I just wish they'd made these five weapons a, a little bit more special. Even if they'd made them look more special, I'd, I'd have taken it. So that's everything on the bar A2. Have you tried it? I know there are some people that tried the Feddy D, some of us in the BF5 pre-order club. <laughs> Don't hate me. Don't hate me. I'm sorry. Um, so, have you tried the bar A2? If you have, tell me what you think about it. Do you actually like this weapon? Or do you think the Burton or others are better? Get in the comment section and let me know and don't forget i've got a massive giveaway going for a copy of battlefield 5 so you can get your hands on these pre-order weapons granted a week before the end of the game's meant to be released but that's to any subscriber so what's going to happen is, is a week before the game's due to come out i'm going to pick a subscriber from my list and say there you go there's a free copy of bf5 enjoy come and join us on the battlefield simple as that for more details on that i'll link the video at the end and don't forget i am now live on twitter which, although for the last couple of days I've been off because I have literally been sicker than a 360 no scope whilst doing a handstand. It's, you know, I've just been really ill, so the last couple of days I haven't been able to stream. Um, I generally stream Sunday to Thursday, 8 till 10, although it can go over, depends on what boss I'm trying to beat or failing to beat, <laughs> depending on how that happens. If you want to catch me on Twitch, the um, link's in the description below, or it's Gaming Gorilla TW for Twitch, you know, the TW. It's not. You've got Gaming Gorilla TV for YouTube and Gaming Gorilla TW for Twitch. It's, it's not hard. You come and join me. Come and have some fun. Come talk to me. That's all for me, Mr. B. Lenny G says ta-ta for now too because he's in bed locked up, the little bastard. Oh, one last thing before I go. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. There's a chance to win BA5. I know I've said it already, but I'm going to say it again. But don't forget to subscribe. And if you do subscribe, hit that notification bell. Because if you don't, you'll miss out on fantastic videos like this. <sighs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you for watching. Ta-ta for now.